I kind of grew up with a very difficult sort of household. Everyone wanted you to be super thin, and I was at a school where you had anorexics, bulimia, everything. I mean, I had both, and uh, I, I was a um, competitive swimmer, and so you've got all the guys looking at you, talking, you know, so I kind of grew up most of my life with just an anxiety over being super thin and, and eating and drinking, all this kind of stuff. And so I've had digestive, digestive problems, and my mother does too, um, since I was a little girl. And so, um, and I, I've tried everything to get rid of it, like everything. And um, I, so I go into the healing, and, um, and I lay down, and all I could feel was this enormous angel, like a Mother Earth Goddess angel behind me. And I was just crying, crying, and grateful, and all I felt was this, this love and gratitude. And, and then everyone started to put their hands like down, and I suddenly went just emotionally dead. And I, and I stopped and I thought, I can't be this person lying on the floor with all these beautiful people around me feeling like totally dead. And I realized I was thinking, I was just thinking about my dad, because my dad, when he died three years ago, he was like this solid, cold blue. And I looked at him in the coffin and I blew this golden light. And, and I realized I was stopping thinking about this instead of receiving for my life and so I imagine these balloons of these people that have hurt me, or I've allowed to hurt me in my life, just go into the sky like balloons. And, uh, and then suddenly this energy just came. And it was the most phenomenal energy. I was moving and sobbing and crying. And I, I went through everything from all the people that I allowed to make me feel that I'm not good enough. Went from family to boyfriends to business to failure money-wise, failure business-wise to getting, I mean, I just, I never give up. And I, and you know, then you get into the woman thing. Women always have to be strong and the lovers and the mothers and the wives. And I, I just felt all this pain from all these years just come out of me and just, just go like into the sky. And I, I, when it ended, um, I turned around and I touched, or the lady touched me who I thought what, what was an angel experience. And she said, oh, she said, Catherine, I, I actually opened my body like a portal and I allowed it um, to be empty. And I asked, the, and I asked angels and Jesus and whatever, it would be to come into my body to breathe love and healing all over your body. And she said, all I could hear was, you are anointed, you are anointed. And I, I can't tell you more. I'm a big believer in thoughts become things. And I could literally feel all her thoughts. I, I felt the angel, I felt everything. And I, I got up, and the whole of yesterday and today, I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm 10 kilos thinner from a perspective of like, I just feel so light. And I've got no back pain and my stomach, I mean, I don't eat croissants and things like that. And today I just sort of sodded and I ate one because I was in a rush. And I have no um, reaction to it. So I know this is kind of like day two, but I, I'm really looking forward to this just changing the rest of my life. And I, I'm so grateful. And it's, it's just so exciting because it's helped me so much in business and so much in my personal life. And I, I feel like an empowered goddess with a future that's just shining sparkly light. So I'm eternally grateful.